friends, uh, we're back here uh, into the composition game. It's not a game. Um, okay, so I think uh, I think the last time I left off here. Um, ooh, let me find it. Uh, we left off here, so I've actually written. You can see quite a bit. I'm at around I think seven pages. Um, anyways. Um, I did come up with a good name for this, uh, piece, which I didn't really come up with. My wife came up with it. Um, it's called don't look down. So instead of calling it big, uh, big brass idea, we're going to call it don't look down. That's going to be the official name for this piece. It's supposed to be like a flying theme. Okay. So flying theme is what we're going with. Don't look down is what we're going with. Um, all right. So let's, uh, update you guys with what's been going on here. So we left off with strings da -da 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 -da, into melody B and I wrote a theme C uh, which is located right over here after this uh, I don't know what you call this. This is like a um, a section to go into that. So okay All right, we're going to go back over here and I'll go ahead and explain some stuff what's going on so here we go <laughs> yeah and and that would be no perform without uh alter verb uh you know what? here i'll let you guys listen to that anyways why not It sounds very, very fake, very MIDI. So I didn't mean to do that, but I'll go ahead and I'll yeah, let you guys hear what that sound like. Okay, so um and this is the this is the difference of what alt verb can do for you. Um I think I mentioned before that I used Greg Wells on here. Um you know, I to let you guys know my process of Doing this, I don't export my like. If you listen to Triumph of the Stars, the first video on my uh, on my uploads, uh, it's called Star Wars. I don't know uh, John Williams thing, blah blah blah, whatever. It's not a John Williams thing. I I wrote it called Triumph of the Stars, and um, it what, my process is I I completely export um, uh, Note Performer dry out of you know Sibelius and that goes into my DAW um, studio one and uh, well uh, what you know and, that, and and that goes through there to get processed through all verb and ozone um, which I do some really cool stuff uh, let me okay yeah I do have do not disturb okay all right so I think I put this back on yes so note performer with Alter verb. Here we go. Section B or theme B, and of course I gotta put all the the rehearsal marks in here. But blah. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So before we go into that, I don't think I showed you guys this last time. So I'm getting, uh, uh, I don't know if it's lame, but what I'm doing here is I'm going theme A, theme A variation. Theme B, theme B variation. I'm not doing this on purpose. I I just, I, I wrote it like that. Then we're going to go to theme C, and you guessed it, theme C variation. So my goal here is to try to get back into theme a reintroduce the theme um because this is a flying theme uh this is you know not really related to what i'm about to say but um my idea is that they're flying or whoever's flying let's say you're flying i don't know okay flying and eventually you know you have lift off right and then you come down and then there's a um it, it's the music should slow down um 
I don't know. It, 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 it should come to like a soft landing. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, okay, let's go back here. Th so theme B, theme B variation. Let me play it one more time here, and I'll just let it play through. Um, also, theme B here, I do want to get, uh, well, I obviously, I already got, you know, it written out, but it, it gets really romantic um, with this chord here. Um, um, I'll go ahead and, you know, explain the harmony through it, but um, you'll hear it, and, you know... Um, there's certain things that might make composition a little cheesy, like the overuse of wind chimes. And you know what? I had to bring it in. This is like the magical. Actually, I brought it in twice. But this is like a magical part here that um, it, it needed. It. it was calling for it. It was crying for it. Okay. Where am I at? Did I just... Lose with my spot here. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Theme B, theme B variation. Then I'll stop it and uh, explain. So So that was the main part for me at least that and you could hear the wind chimes in there. Uh, let me see, I'll play this section one more time for you. Wind chimes. There it goes. Okay, ba -da -da -dum. so it's it's the same thing. Uh, theme, uh, you know what? Uh, okay, yeah, it was an F. Oops. Um, and I think on, excuse me, I think on almost all of my videos, maybe, maybe not, I always say don't copy and paste because this would have been so easy to copy section B and just put it in a completely different key and be like, oh, okay, yeah, that works. But when you don't copy and paste, you're forced to write something that may influence you to write a little different. The the harmonies, the structure, the, you know, the, uh, um, the melody, what's playing the melody, what's behind the melody, you know, chimes, wind chimes, you can add that. So, um, it's, it's, that's the reason I say don't copy, don't paste. Um, unless like, come on, like, okay, like here, um, I don't even know if I copied and paste. Here, we'll, we'll listen to the French horns here. They they might actually. I think I had them harmonizing, but the melody got a little weak. So you know, copy and paste where you know that it's it's just redundant and, to, and kind of dumb to even you know to try to write out the same exact melody that you have here. So let's see what they're doing here. Okay, so yeah, there's, you know, ba -da -ba -da -da. Um, I'm sure that's somewhere else here, probably the uh, cellos. Anyways, you kind of get the point. Um, copy and paste where it's necessary, but don't copy and paste full sections. Like, you can totally hear it. Okay, 
Um, so I'll kind of show you some uh, some stuff uh, counterpoint going behind these melodies. Uh, here are the strings. show you what the I'll show you what the uh, what ones are doing here bum ba -dum bum all right we'll get to that section next okay so um, so I'll go ahead and play for you and explain harmonically what I'm doing behind this. Um, and it sounds kind of Disney to me. It sounds a little magical, uh, like Tinkerbell's kind of floating around. All right. <laughs> so, so we're back now. Uh, uh, you know, I this, <laughs> this was like a couple of weeks ago that I wrote this, and I totally forgot what I did. So, um, so B flat to the um, B flat Lydian uh, sharp four you, you can hear it in the okay you can hear it in the uh, the harmony here the chord uh, and then it goes to the four uh, uh, perfect fourth from B flat which is a uh, uh, E flat okay and then what I'm doing is going back to B flat major Okay, and that romantic part, this is where I messed up on that, uh, you know, explain it the last time. Okay, so I, I still go to that um, minor, uh, well, it's not minor, it's a major third, hold on, it's a major chord quality, a minor third away, so that's what I'm going to. So if you think about it, what's a minor third away from B flat, B, C, D flat, okay, so D flat, um, with a major chord quality. Okay. Ooh. I'm horrible at piano. Okay. So, um, what I did here is I, th I've mentioned before on a couple videos, um, you, you can, this can almost act like as a, well, it can act as a five sound. I don't know if that's what I did here, but, um, in a major chord, you can add a, like a minor sixth. And it gives you a really, a really uh, interesting sound. Ooh, right? Okay, so I specifically didn't want that sound. So what I did was make it a suspended chord, not using a, a, a sus2, but a sus4, which is a natural suspended, uh, you know, I guess a, you, all you have to say is sus, and uh, it's referring to the fourth. Okay? So that's what I did here with the sixth in the bass because I didn't want that major third. Okay. And then all I'm doing is running the melody. There's my major third. And then I go into this beautiful, it's the same chord. It's the same chord. So it's still D flat with a major seventh on top. So it's, well, it's just a major, it goes into a major seventh chord. Okay, and then I just went perfect fourth. Dorian. Okay. Um, it was Dorian to, which would be E flat Dorian to F, and that's uh, that actually comes from the harmonic minor scale. So that F was a, my transition um, to go into theme C. So I'll let this play. I don't know if this is boring with me telling you guys harmony. If it is, is ugh, I almost bit my tongue. If it is, just let me know. I, I can do something else. Uh, all right. So here we go. 
So this is going to be out of theme B into theme C. Play theme B one more time. Okay, so there's a lot of really cool, uh, <laughs> what I think it's cool, uh, Widowins uh, doing a lot of weird stuff here. So uh, what kind of inspired me to write this is um, I was watching a, a YouTube video on like flying scenes. And I think if you just type in flying scenes and, you know, the video I'm talking about will pop up. Um, and it's a part where like... Peter Pan's falling down and then, you know, um, I had the audio shut off. So like I was watching it and I was like, oh man, this is, this would be a really cool transition to do. And then I wanted to do all these like fluttering things with the woodwinds and blah, 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 this and that. And so I came up with this. Cool. So that's, I don't know, I really like it. Okay, so this is pretty much just F. Um, bum, -da -dum, bum. Oh, F, F to B flat. I don't know. I probably did something different. Who knows? Um, so, and then I go into a theme C. Now this theme C is, uh, I'll play it for you right now. And it goes, I thought this theme C would be nice because I know I didn't finish playing it, but I know I like, I, I felt that it would be nice because it kind of gives you a break from the it's it's almost like theme B but a little more chill like it's it's even more chill than theme B but um and it it, it just kind of lets you know the melody is just kind of flowing and um it kind of gives you a break from you know the high energy uh theme A and you know even semi theme B so uh theme C Okay, and then it changes keys, but that's kind of the main idea here. So we'll go ahead and listen to that. Uh, that's gonna be the next part um so i mean this this theme c here you know it's it's the same thing that you know i was talking about theme b don't copy and paste <laughs> um so this uh, i'll kind of show you so it actually sounds like kind of muddy a little bit but i kind of like i i well, and what I'm talking about is the background, what what's going on behind the melody. Like, I know it it sounds, you know, like there's independent voices here. But um, when you start, like, here, I'll show you. Watch, I have eighth notes on top of triplets on top of sixteenth <laughs> notes. Um, but I actually like it because they're all doing something different. And I don't know. I don't care what you think. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I write what I like. <laughs> Okay, anyways, blah. All right, so here's um, here's the strings. Uh, here, I'll just play uh, string one, string two, and viola. Oh, 
All right. So, all right. This is violin one, violin. Oh no, violin one. Oh no, violin two and viola. And here's that uh, triplet run uh, for violin ones. Uh, I never noticed that attack that like, oh, do I have that up here? Yeah, I do. Um, and here are the woodwinds. So, and, and all that kind of gets drowned out by drowned and all that kind of gets drowned out by the brass. Um, whenever you do like a five, one, you know, that's, uh, let's see. Yeah. Whenever you do like a, like a, um, a secondary five, one, um, it's, it really brings that, at least for me, it, it, it makes me feel like I'm being brought back to a place at home, even though I just left it like a minute ago. So, um. Ba dee 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 Um, so that's E. So oh, on the second um, the second variation on the key E. something like that um and that's pretty much it i mean you know i've i've it's it's like it's like painting or you know like cutting cutting a sculpture i don't know if that's the right way of saying that but it's it's like it's like making you know it's art you know it takes time i, I don't know and plus you know i don't have a whole lot of time to work on stuff like this so when i do i do get a lot done um and here's the title here. Don't look down. I gotta put some other stuff in there, but um, I mean that's that's kind of the basic idea here. So a theme A, theme A variation, theme B, theme B variation, theme C, theme C variation. I know it sounds super lame, but actually this is only a I think it's only a minute thirty seconds. So it's it's you know it's not really um it's. Even though the the pattern is repetitive, I don't think you really notice it because um, it goes by so quick. So it actually only seems seems like a theme A, theme B, theme C. Um, so my next idea here is to oh, and by the way, I wanted to I wanted to mention something. This right here, uh, I'll play up to like here. This here, this theme C. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Dude, I have to tell you, that was like pulling teeth. I could not. <laughs> I'll go through some ideas that like uh, that I came up with because here, here was my issue with this. Um, bum, ba da dee 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 bum ba dum. When I went here, oh, I think I was singing it in QB. It wants to do this. Right? Because 
That's five one. Five one bum bum. Five tension one right. Okay. So we all know that. That's pretty basic with you know how a five one works and super if you're gonna oh. Okay. Uh, all right, so my issue here was that was so hard to overcome. Um, but, um, like, you want to go here. Like, your, your brain immediately just wants to go there. I didn't want it to go there because I wanted to repeat pattern C or theme C, right? But if I did... But, um, Oh, sorry. But, um, like that sounds so lame. But, um, it 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 just couldn't. Ha I maybe it works. I don't know. I just like that doesn't sound good. But, um, bum. What I wrote originally was bum bum. Something like that. Because it wants to go... Ba -dum -bum, right? And how do I do melody C with that? Bum, bum, bum. You just don't. Like it. I don't know. I went through a lot of different things in this section. And this is the best thing I can come up with here. Because I don't know. Like here. You know what? I'll show. I think I wanted to show you guys some ideas. That I ran through here. Um, let's see which one, which one, which one. Maybe it was. No, not that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so here's one. I'll play it. Yeah, I wasn't really... I mean, I might go back to that after just to oops, to introduce a theme A again. But yeah, that one's not going to work. I, I tried it, so... That just didn't work. Believe me, I tried it. Um... And then I did something really, I don't think that's it. Um, theme, okay, maybe theme C. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, I, I think I think this is the one that I was leaning towards and I was like, oh, okay, this, this might work. And then after taking a couple of days to listen to it, I was like, eh, I don't really like it. You know, because I mean, it's... Dumb, but, So here's what I was really coming up with the first time that I wrote it. I don't know why that's so echoey, but I don't know. Uh, it's like, I don't know. Don't really like it. Uh, you know, I actually might add this into my entire library. So, hey, um, I wanted to mention something too. 
uh, a cold technique. Um, so, so let's say, hey, I wrote a bunch of ideas, um, and uh, I've mentioned before how to save the stuff that you don't or that you know instead of having a hundred and twenty different variations, just keep one file, and when you go to delete something, highlight. Okay, let's say I want to highlight the section, which I'm going to delete after. Uh, all you have to do is hold Shift I, boom, and it shows up right here. And then what I do is uh, right click, edit idea info. I'm gonna write trash for this one because I'm not gonna keep it. Boom, and there you go. You can even color code these. Okay, cool. So another thing that you can do, like let's say, okay, that's that one, that idea I want specifically for this piece. I'll, I'll, like I'll never use it in a different song specifically because it's got my main melody, right? But let's say that I like I wrote something new and it's not a part of this piece. I can uh, or you can right click on this and click add to library. OK, then if you click on library, this has uh, oh well, originally I deleted all this stuff. I don't know why it's back in here. Uh, anyways, okay, so you can uh, come back here and click on this theme, okay, and then this is uh, an idea for you later on, um, you know, that you can add into a different piece or get some ideas from. So that's how that works. So now I'm going to delete this because I don't need it or want it. So that's a good way of, of, of keeping your ideas safe and uh, accidentally deleting a part. Maybe even if you're making minor changes, I always recommend uh, highlighting the entire section, the, like meaning all wood ones, all French horns, um, and just shift I. It's just like information, right? So it doesn't even take up a lot of space. So anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the entire piece for you. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode. If you'd like to see more footage like this, I don't need to tell you to hit that subscribe button. Have a great week. Stay positive. Stay creative.